This is a special day today because this is our baptism Sunday. This is the day that we have people that have chosen to stand up before you and give their testimony of how they have accepted Christ as their Savior and what difference that has made in their life. All people uh, who are Christians, who are followers of Christ, have been commanded to be baptized. And it is a scary thing to stand up in front of people and talk. I think Barbara will agree with that. I see her shaking her head because she never stands up in front of people and talks, but she did today because this was something that was really important to her heart, right? And she overcame her fears to do that. And we're going to have some other people overcome their fears to stand up in front of you and, and say some words. And that's because it's really important. It's really important to God. And because it's really important to God, it's really important to them. And so they're, they're going to do something that they probably didn't expect that they would do uh, because their Lord and Savior Jesus is important to them. And it's something that I would encourage uh, all of you, especially if you've never been baptized as a believer. There are some people who have been baptized as babies or it wasn't your choice. You didn't have anything to say about it. You didn't say anything. Maybe a cry here or there, but uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't from you. God wants it from you. And so uh, every person should be baptized that is a believer in Jesus Christ and because he's commanded us to do that. This is how God has chosen for his children to announce to the world that they are a Christian. Someday we're going to stand up in heaven. We're going to, our name is going to be called forth. And at that point, uh, the decision in whether we're going to be able to stay up in heaven with Jesus or go down to hell is going to be based on one thing. Is Jesus our Savior? And at that moment, Jesus is going to announce to his Father in heaven who gets to go into heaven who doesn't and Jesus said uh, if you deny me before men I will deny you before my father in heaven and at the, so at that point when we stand before God in heaven it's Jesus is going to make the decision the determination actually whether you get to go to heaven or not and it's going to be based on whether or not you stood up and announced him in front of people that's that's what it says it's going to be determined. If you are willing to stand up in front of people and admit that you're a Christian, Jesus is going to stand up before God and say, you're one of mine. And these people are doing that today. So I'm going to invite Joe to come on down. I was like baptism first, and this is a first today. Uh, Joe here has uh, made the determination to be uh, baptized, and he volunteered to come down and help put the water in the baptistry. So he, I don't know, maybe I don't know if he just had a servant heart, or if he was a little skeptical about what the whole process was, or he wanted the temperature to be just right, or I don't know what it was. But this is the first time I've ever had anybody who was being baptized come down and fill his own baptistry. But uh, it is, I, I, I'll take it this way, Joe, because I know Joe pretty well. And he has a servant heart, and he does want to serve the Lord. And I believe that uh, this is representative of, of who he is as a servant of the Lord, even wanting to be here to, to help fill the baptistry when he gets baptized in it. So, uh, Joe, will you tell us uh, how it is that you became a Christian and what difference has God made in your life? morning. Uh, it was a lot of work getting this thing prepared, believe it or not, but uh, um, I just want to thank the church and Pastor John for uh, putting on this to, to get baptized. I, I'm, I'm really appreciative of the effort, and I wanted to thank them. I want to thank my, my wife for coming. My wife is here this morning. There's Sherry, and that means a lot, lot, lot to me that she came, and my mother, of course, is here. And uh, um, Just real quick, I recommitted my life back to Christ about six and a half years ago, and I have failed to get baptized. I had you know, many opportunities to, and for whatever reason, I was too scared or uh, just didn't, didn't make it happen until today. And I'm, I'm happy that uh, the Holy Spirit has touched me to, to get that done. And if I can offer maybe just a word of encouragement to those that, um, that maybe don't read their Bibles. Uh, when I uh, became a Christian again uh, six and a half years ago, I uh, started reading my Bible 
and I haven't stopped. And I've been on a five-page diet for six and a half years now, and I've been through the Bible five times, front to back. And I don't say that as a, 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 a title of good works, because that, that won't get you in. But um, it does help me to keep my eye focused, is to be reading the Bible daily. So um, yeah, thank you. Uh, so may God bless us all, and I thank you. Yeah, thank you. Amen. Thank you, Joe. Joe, you've given testimony today of your faith in Jesus Christ, how you have accepted him as your Savior, and how you have followed him as Lord. Based on this testimony today, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The next person that we have that is going to be baptized is Angel. <laughs> I'm pulling a little bit, yeah. This is Angel. Angel has uh, come to our church. Actually, she came several years ago, and then we'd lost sight of her for a while. We want to thank uh, Shirley's family for bringing her the first time, uh, but uh, she uh, came back uh, again uh, about a year and a half ago, two years ago, and uh, I'm going to let her share how it is that she has come to this place now where she uh, accepted Jesus as her Savior and how uh, she is now ready today to be baptized and announce that Jesus is Lord of her life. <laughs> uh, last year I, um, at camp, I accepted Christ into my heart. And um, before I accepted Him, um, like I was getting pulled into a lot of things making bad decisions and <laughs> and I have a lot of problems with my family and like like I was just trying to get through like everything like on my own but like when I accepted now that I have accepted Christ into my heart I I turn to him with all my problems and <laughs> and I share my faith with everyone at like at school like I'll read the Bible and stuff but like <laughs> Um, <laughs> I feel more happier and like I, I have strength and um, it feels good to know that I'm not alone in my problems. <laughs> Angel, you have given testimony today of how you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior at camp a year and a half ago with Matthew and uh, how, how God has become Lord of your life as you have confessed Him in front of everybody at school and your family. Based on this testimony that you have given today, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The next person that we have that is getting baptized today is Alyssa. And I did not even know Alyssa until, what, about a month and a half or two months ago? Yeah, not too long ago. She's very new to our church, but she's a relative of uh, Angel's. And Angel invited her, and Andrea invited her to our church. And uh, so I'm going to let her tell you how that began the process that she accepted Christ into her life. And, and tell me also how that's changed your life also. Thanks. Okay. Well, I, okay then. When I, when I accepted uh, Christ into my heart and my life, um, I was at the youth group and I approached Pastor John and I told him, I told him that I wanted to accept Jesus in my heart because I was going through a rough time because my mom died 
so I was always sad and I gave up on Christ because I'm like well how am I supposed to be happy you took my mom away you know so because of Angel I want to thank her and Brianna and Andrea because they brought me here and I finally felt a connection in my heart with Christ for the first time I think even before when I was religious I didn't really feel anything only because I didn't really pay attention and just thank thank you everyone for helping me accept Jesus Christ in my heart and yeah this I have to tell you uh, I this was an unusual experience for me because uh, Thursday night uh, about a month ago or so three three weeks ago uh, we were just getting ready to get started with our worship. We hadn't even started doing anything yet. And uh, Alyssa approached me and said, I want to accept Christ. And I, you know, it's not unusual for people to do that after this worship, after you've given your sermon or your worship time or whatever, that, that happens quite a bit. But it's not very often that you have somebody come up to you. In fact, I think this is the first time it's ever happened to me where someone came up to me before we even started and announced they wanted to be a Christian. And I didn't even hardly know her at that time. I didn't even know if she knew what this all meant. So I had to take her in the back and explain to her what it, what it all was and, and what it meant to be a Christian, that you uh, were, were asking Jesus to forgive you of your sins and uh, that Jesus died for you and that uh, this was a moment where you recognized your sins and were asking for forgiveness and asking Jesus to come into your heart. And so she understood that, and then she went ahead and did uh, what I said she needed to do. And what did, what happened when you accepted Christ? When when after you prayed, I prayed, and then you prayed, and uh, what what do you, what experience did you have? Well, I don't know. I felt this thing inside of my heart, and it was like like I said, a lightning bolt. But it was a really good feeling, and you told me it was the Holy Spirit, right? That's what it is. And this morning, when we were talking about it, you said it felt like it was a perfect fit, right? That some, something was there that was exactly right, that it's the way it, it should have been, right? Okay. We're going to come back to that later, so I just wanted to make sure that everybody heard that. <laughs> All right. Alyssa, you have given testimony today of how you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, right here, just a few weeks ago. And based on this testimony now of your faith in the Lord Jesus and His presence in your life, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray together. Oh, Heavenly Father, how wonderful it is when your children, whatever age, come to give their testimony and share how you have come into their heart and how you have blessed their life. What, a, what an awesome thing that is to be witnesses and be here today. And I don't know if everybody understands just the impact of what this is, but I do know that it is important to you. And that's the only thing that's important is what's important to you. So we thank you today for being here and witnessing this and being present. We pray your blessing on each of these people now. Let them know that they have pleased God, that they have made you happy today because they, they overcame their fears and took this step of faith. We pray that uh, others will recognize the importance of this and also make their own profession of faith publicly and please you just as they have. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.